right, we're here, beautiful morning in Boracay, Philippines. The rain has just subsided. I've just got uh, myself a to-go coffee from Coffee 37, which is 37 Filipino pesos uh, for an Americano, so it's less than a dollar. And we're gonna get some breakfast. So there's this little shop that serves uh, rice chicken soup to all the locals. All the locals go there that are working on like the construction and stuff like that. Um, it's like dollar soup and I wanna try it. I'm always a fan of Asian soups for the most part and uh, breakfast soups also. So uh, yeah, let's go check this out. Yeah, stop for some bread as well, I think. Um, can I get just one of these big uh, rolls of bread? Yeah. Do you mind if I film you? Okay. Thank you. Okay, I got some bread now. Off to get some lugao, as I've been uh, politely told by the bakery lady. So, where's he at? Um, can I get one uh, lugao? Lugao, a porridge made by boiling glutinous rice, is widely regarded as an easily digested comfort food across the Philippines. What is this inside? This one here? Yeah, is that uh, lemongrass? Oh, lemongrass. Okay, nice. Add a little chili oil, ground black pepper, and some chopped scallions for extra flavor. And served in more plastic than the top dresser drawer in the back bedroom at a ditty party near you. All right, we're here at my terrace now, Aquarius Terraces, where I'm staying at, if you're interested. Um, these are actually really great rooms for like 30 bucks American, 40 bucks Canadian, maybe less, um, with this great view. Uh, they're pretty big, spacious, really nice, anyways. Anyways, normally I would be facing the beautiful view. I can actually see it in the camera though and enjoy it a little bit, but I'll, I'll give it to you for your guys' sake here, facing this way. Um, so we've hit up that little soup spot for the, for the local stuff. I've got um, chicken rice soup, uh, a loaf, of, a little mini loaf of bread, and an Americano, and I've spent about $2 Canadian, $2.50, something like that for all of it, which is really nice. Coffee's really good, actually. We get into this soup here. So we've got the little um, miniature orange looking things. They're called calamansies. Um, we serve them everywhere here in the Philippines. We've got what look like some onion flakes, uh, some chicken and some chopped green onion and uh, some pepper on the top here. So, oh, and there's an egg too. <laughs> nice, I didn't even see that. That's dope. Okay, we got an egg also. Looks like a hard boiled egg. Just mix it all up here a little bit, have a bite. Mmm. Oh. Now he mentioned the lemongrass in the pot. You can actually really taste the lemongrass. It's a little bit spicy. Put some chili oil on there, uh, if you saw. And some pepper. It's a very glutinous soup. You can see why the local construction workers eat this. First of all, it's cheap. Second of all, pretty tasty. Third of all, that, that glutinous uh, quality is going to sustain you through a hard day's labor, I think, as well. Maybe not the whole day, but, you know, get you off to a good start. It's really nice. I love the chopped green onions on the top. The flavors go together really well. Now, I just want to see what this egg is all about. Okay, yeah. It's a hard-boiled, which I thought. Mmm. I think in most Asian cultures, they have some type of a cheap rice soup that, like, local people eat for breakfast, working class people, a lot of sustenance, really tasty stuff. And we'll just give this bread a try also. Mm, nice and soft. It's been cooked fresh today. We'll dip it in soup. Not bad for um, 50 cents, you know? It's pretty decent bread actually. Get a piece of chicken here. Mmm. The chicken's really good too. You know, it was pre-cooked, so it was either, it looked like it was steamed maybe. Um, but yeah, just blends in really nice with this whole soup. Like it's a, it's a cornucopia of deliciousness. Really nice. So I'm here at a nice little seafood restaurant on the beach. It's called Percy Seafood. Um, and I'm drinking a nice local ale here. This is a, a craft beer of some sort. It's a wheat beer. It's called Pedro. Um, so let's try that. I'll pretend like I haven't already had a few of them. 
and uh, yeah, no, it's just my first time. Um, yeah, it's it's almost like a, a fruity flavor. It's tasty. So, the craft beer is nice. I've ordered a uh, ceviche starter, which is going to come out in a minute, and then we're going to get onto mains. Maybe I'll have a few cocktails. I'm enjoying a nice, uh, relaxing evening here on the island of Boracay. This is the Persi ceviche. Uh, the Persi ceviche is consists of our tanigi fish, yeah. uh, dirty radish, uh, cucumber, and tomato, uh, together with the turmeric fumabob. And um, this is one is a coral twill. This is actually one of the best sellers in uh, Persi seafood, uh, ceviche. It looks beautiful. So it's kind of especially local then, yeah? Yes, it's a very uh, special local dish. Ah, perfect, that's what I want. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. A little aperitif. Just get a bite with all of this. Mm. They make really good food here. This is um, really good. I mean, you get the turmeric coming together with the mint and the fish. Like, it's an interesting combination, really tasty. And then you have the refreshing bits of cucumber and watermelon. And radish. Now, the fish itself is exquisite. It's got the perfect um, texture for ceviche. So I'm still chomping away on this ceviche here, and I realized the really brilliant thing about it is the turmeric's not too strong of a flavor. They've, they've diluted it in a sauce, and it just like, it's not too sharp, but it complements the fish extremely well. So we're going all out here today. We're having the luxury experience. Um, just got myself a little uh, Lafroy whiskey neat. Like my favorite whiskey, so Oof, smells good. It smells smoky. Ah, oh, I love that. This is a good day. Okay, so we've got a gin cocktail mixed with this uh, blackberry liqueur. And what else did you say was in it? Lemon. It's, uh, lemon and sweetener. Lemon and sweetener, blackberry liqueur, and gin. They are really taking care of me here. Another um, complimentary drink on the house. And then they got the big ice cube, which I like. For anyone who doesn't know, they use the big ice cube because it has less surface area and does not water down your drink as quickly due to melting. Smells good. Oh, wow, that's lovely. Okay. I love blackberry though, so I mean, but the black, you got the sweetness, you got the sour, you got the gin, which happens to be my favorite spirit. You got the big ice cube, this is fantastic. Yes, sir. Uh, this one is our island mahi mahi. Yeah. Uh, this is a grilled mahi mahi fish topped with a pineapple glaze. So it has a sweet flavor complemented with the fish and served with a, a coconut rice uh, together with the pineapple on the side so that it will not be a little bit uh, too sweet for you and it has also turmeric foam. Turmeric foam, foam. I recognize yes. the turmeric foam. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. All right, so you heard this one introduced. I've uh, been getting a little bit loose off the Lefroy. Um This has just been a, a blessing of a day, to be honest. It's been really nice here. I love this restaurant. It's um, the level of cooking and actually the thought that went into this menu from the, um, the woman that made the menu is like, really thought this stuff out, it's very impressive. So we'll try the fish, which right away I'm getting like a nice texture from. Mmm. That's nice, I like the pineapple glaze. It's got almost kind of a, and I could be wrong on the ingredients here, but it brings me the feeling of like brown sugar and cinnamon and, and that type of uh, flavor palette, flavor profile. We'll get into the pineapple. We'll actually pair that with the fish, and the glaze, and the cilantro, and the rice, and try it all together in one bite. Oh, and uh, we'll get some turmeric on the spoon. We'll see how this symphony works together. Mm. Magnificent. The pineapple really works with it too. It's, a, it's got a theme of like sweetness, but the um, cilantro and turmeric, kind of those, uh, it's like Middle Eastern, Northern African kind of flavor. It's really nice. And then the whole thing's tied together in kind of an island feel. You've got the pineapple, you've got the coconut. 
We've got the mahi mahi, which is the fresh local white fish. Cooked in a banana leaf. Tough to go wrong. Very good. Might have to get a post uh, dinner mezcal after possibly as well. So we'll see. Oh my God. I think she's got another shot for me. Another shot, Wow, thank you so much. Nice. So I saw some 400 cojeños, and I'm gonna act like I know what I'm talking about. I don't really, but I do know the flavor of a good mezcal. So, I thought we'd try this tonight, end the night off with a bang. I find, as far as like drinks to sip neat, my favorites are whiskey and mezcal. They both kind of um, can have those smoky type of flavors. Um, this one's got Oaxaca right on the bottle too, of course it should. We'll give this one a try. It even has kind of a whiskey kind of smell on the top. It's got a whiskey nose. Mm. That's really good actually. I'm over the moon. So impressed with everything here. So we'll end the night like that. And I'll see you guys on, hopefully, on the boat trip tomorrow if it doesn't rain. So I'm here on this uh, boat hopping trip. Still, um, you know, going around Boracay. Um, but uh, we're hopping to some smaller islands. And I must say, I knew this was a terrible idea. And I did it anyways. We've just been stuck on the boat for it seemed like about an hour just waiting so they could fill up and get the most sardines on there as possible, pack it in, maximize uh, monetary gain, which fair enough, I guess. Um, but then you get to this uh, other island and it, there's more tourists here than there is on the Boracay beaches. It's ridiculous. I've been uh, graciously treated to a coconut here. Um, they're rolling up on the, the tiny little boats and, and chopping up coconuts on the spot, so that's pretty sweet. Um, 50 pesos, so that's about a dollar. Um, give it a try here. That's really nice. Okay, so the snorkeling part of the trip was significantly um, better. It has lifted my spirits a little bit, little uh, coconut, beautiful um, coral and stuff like that. And now we're in this massive uh, lunch hall about to go find some lunch. So we'll see what they're serving. Okay, so I've just met a bunch of uh, cool people here and we're about to sit down for some lunch. So we've got some um, milk fish, some mixed vegetables, some type of shrimp, and then we've got some uh, chicken and what are these, pork skewers? Yes, pork yeah. barbecue pork barbecue skewers. So this is what is being offered on a boat hopping tour lunch uh, in Boraca. Looks like some cabbage, probably oyster sauce. Mm. That's nice, classic kind of stir fry -y type vegetables. Rice is life, as you said, a little white rice, and then we'll try the milk fish. Mm. Uh, it's got some bones in it. Kind of reminds me of the taste of like a river fish. It's a meaty fish, and actually the more you get into it, the tastier it gets. It's actually quite good. We got some little scrimpies here. Just classic nice shrimp. Nothing crazy special about it, but it's pretty good. Then we got some chicken skewers here. You already tried balut? <laughs> I've had the Cambodian version of balut, so it's like it's the same thing. It's the same. Yeah, um, but. I want to get some good balut when I'm in Manila also, so I'm going to be looking for it. Barbecue chicken's fantastic, a little bit of char on there, love that smoky flavor, and then uh, a little pork stick, so. In Thailand, they would call this mu ping. I don't know what they call it here. In Thailand, they like spicy. Yes, they do. Filipino culture, they like sweet. Yeah, excellent, excellent pork skewers, so. Overall, pretty nice lunch here, happy with it.